morning all all right so we're going into day two of free agency today and it should be much quieter than day one because there just aren't enough players to have as busy a day today as we had yesterday uh but there's been a minor trade as well so i'll start with that the san jose sharks acquiring uh rfa defenseman leon gavonke from the winnipeg jets going the other way artemi niazev uh so we'll see how things go with that deal because both again young defensemen and uh, we'll see who comes out ahead in that one probably years down the road. Now, going back to the top of the board, Evan Rodriguez is now a member of the Florida Panthers. Um, I'm a fan of, of Rodriguez's game, and I think on a four-year contract at $3 million per, that is a very decent deal for a guy who is a Swiss Army knife out there. He does a little bit of everything. I think he's going to fit Florida's game very well. He can slot into your lineup wherever you need him. Uh, he can fill in in the top six here and there. Uh, he's also a very solid bottom six forward. So uh, at that cap hit, that's a very good deal. And for Florida, they really couldn't go much higher. They only have $362,499 in cap space after that signing. So Florida is added to the list of teams who have no more cap space to add anybody. So about half the league now is in a position where they can't afford to sign any of the guys who are out there and remaining. So guys like Bertuzzi, Domi, Dumba. They're going to have limited options when it comes to where they sign. Uh, I may end up being like with Klingberg last year where he ends up signing in Anaheim for a one-year deal because uh, any potential suitors and the kind of contracts he was looking for it just wasn't there. Uh, Christian Fisher signs with the Detroit Red Wings. It's a one-year deal for $1.25 million as Iserman continues to add. Uh, that's a really solid number for Fisher. I think that's, that's a good cap hit for Detroit. And again, I like what Iserman's been doing. Obviously... He expects the Wings to be better this coming season, and he's aiming for the playoffs. Uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins adding a goaltender and a forward today. Redeem Zahorna is back with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, Magnus Helberg's been added in goal. So currently, by my last count, they've got four goaltenders of note uh, because they also added Nedeljkovic yesterday. So they're, they're really adding up goaltenders quickly. Uh, the signings for Helberg and Zahorna at league minimum. So $775,000 one year for each. Uh, Mac Hollowell, who came up and played for the Leafs a handful of games last year, signs a one-year deal with the Rangers for $775,000. So that might end up being a very good value deal for the Rangers should he come up and play for them. But in likelihood, he'll probably be in the AHL to start the season. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, the Ottawa Senators, who of course are trying to make some kind of a deal for Alex Dabrinkit, still hasn't worked uh, in their favor to this point. He is still uh, with the team. At least they have his rights. Uh, getting an extension signed is really important. But it seems like the idea of him signing any kind of an extension with Ottawa is just gone at this stage. Uh, so Ottawa has also pivoted. Apparently they're having talks with Vlad Tarasenko. Uh, Tarasenko could see that as a good challenge, of course. There's some good scoring in Ottawa. And this is a team that should be able to score a bunch of goals this coming season. Might help Tarasenko out. Maybe he signs a one-year deal there and then goes somewhere else next year or has a really good year and signs an extension shortly thereafter. Uh, so yesterday was a very busy day by cap-friendly standards. And again, cap-friendly tracks back to 2016. Uh, it was one of the busiest first days of free agency. 166 contracts. Uh, it's a lot of contracts. 292 contract years. So not a lot of long-term contracts. Most of these are short-term as expected. The term came down um, $647,367,499 in value for all of these contracts added together. So uh, over the half a billion mark, and that's just on the first day. So, so far today, the contracts that have been signed, I think it's like $17 million in contract dollars. So it's possible that by the time we reach the start of the season, we could talk about, hey, so three quarters of a billion dollars for all these guys, huh? But again, that's spread out over a number of years. And uh, yeah, well, whichever GM spends their cap money wisely usually ends up looking pretty smart as the years go by. The GMs that aren't necessarily quite as smart with the cap money will stand out as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.